Hello, bookworms. My name is Lindsay Mead, and today I have an audiobook book haul. Okay, so you may or may not know about the Humble Bundle. Um, if you don't know about it, you should definitely check it out. Just search Humble Bundle. Uh, I'll probably link it below, actually. <laughs> um, but Humble Bundle is this really great site that usually bundles up a whole bunch of stuff. Usually it's games. They bundle them together, and then you can pay whatever you want, any amount. It can be a couple cents. It can be a couple dollars. I don't think it matters. And you will get those games. And then if you pay the average amount that people are paying, which is usually like five or six dollars, you get those games plus you get some other games unlocked. Well, this time they did um, a humble bundle for books. And by the way, the money goes to charity. It gets split up between, like in this case, it was split up between the um, creators of the audio, the writers, and then the uh, charity and uh, percentage goes to Humble Bundle to keep things running. And you can determine how much of which goes to which. So, uh, or you can just go with the default. So yeah, it's a great way to get some stuff super, super cheap. And uh, it's a great way to help charity out. So I follow it, even though I don't usually get a lot of games, I still follow it. And every now and then they do an um, audio books and just eBooks and stuff which is pretty cool. Um, so I did the, I jumped on the audiobook one. A lot of the audiobooks I haven't heard of or I'm not interested in, but a few of them I really, really wanted. So I, I you know, I think I paid $7 and I got them all. So yay. And I wanted to share them with you. So um, we're, I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. In no particular order. Now, one of the books I got was Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Don't know anything about this book, but I have seen it at the store quite a bit. I think it did really well. Um, so it's maybe something I will listen to. It's different for me. I would never read a book like this. A lot of these books I would never read, but I might listen to the audio. That's a little bit of a different experience. The, Sa the Satanic Verses by Salman Rushdie was another one. Don't know anything about it. Uh, just heard about it. I, I mean, it's I mean it's been around for a while, so we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe. This one's a mouthful. It's A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius by Dave Eggers. Now, Dave Eggers I have heard of. I'm thinking that maybe that's self-help or Christian or something. There's two books on this whole list that I was particularly excited about, and one of them was Abandoned by Meg Cabot. Um, I have this book signed, and I tried to read it, and did not like it. I think I got three chapters in and was not happy with it. But because this was an audiobook, and like I said, audiobooks are a little bit different, I thought I would go ahead and maybe give it a try. Then there's Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy, found by Margaret Haddix. If I don't recognize the book, I seem to recognize the authors. Just about every author on this list I recognize. So they do well enough that I have seen them around at work. So that's a good sign. Junkie by William S. Burroughs. And this one was kind of disappointing for me because I saw Burroughs and I thought of Edgar Rice Burroughs. And I thought, oh, Edgar Rice Burroughs. Sure, that's exciting. Junkie, not so much. But hey, it's Edgar Rice Burroughs. And I really looked at the name afterwards and I thought, oh, that's not the same guy. <laughs> but I'm not saying it's not a great book. It's just not who I thought it was. If it were an Edgar Rice Burroughs book, I'd, you know, Tarzan or one of the John Carter, John Carter books, I'd be so excited. Uh, then there's On a Pale Horse by Piers Anthony, I think is how you say his name, which is, I believe, a sci-fi author. Pretty sure I've seen him in the sci-fi section. Don't know what the book's about. But if I'm correct and I have seen him in the sci-fi section, this might definitely be one of the books that I listen to. True Grit by Charles Portis. I don't know if I'm going to listen to this one specifically because I've seen the movie. I, I've seen, I saw the John Wayne movie and I saw the recent movie and I uh, heard that the recent movie was more accurate to the book. And there were some things in the movie that I really did not agree with, um, particularly the part where he stabbed the horse in the end to get the horse to move. Wouldn't work, by the way. You stab a horse, it's not going to run for you. It, it's not going to, it's going to do the exact opposite, probably. <laughs> it's going to get you off it. Um, but I didn't agree with that sentiment or at all anything having to do with that. Um, I'm a horseman, though, grew up on a horse, so um, I know how they work, and that was not cool. I was not impressed with that. <laughs> so I don't know if I will listen to the book. I might. I a lot of the audiobooks I listen to, I listen to with my dad, and he's a Western fan, so I might listen to it just for his sake. We'll see. The book I was most excited about, and I've already started listening to, is Vampirates, Demons of the Ocean by Justin Stomper. I have a Vampirates book. I think it's the fifth one in the series. Uh, Jessica, the book I got, sent it to me. Um, 
Um, and so when this was on there, I think I had to pay the extra money to get this one, which is why I did the average because this was one of the books you had to unlock. Um, but this one I was all over. I'm like, yes, I want this one. And so I'm already listening to this one. You can follow my progress on Goodreads, but I'm only listening to it like every Thursday, like maybe once a week. Um, I think I got four chapters the first time around, so that might end up being the average. So it'll take me a while to finish it. But I like what I hear so far. I had wished that I had... The vampires have not yet made an appearance in the book, and that kind of disappoints me. But um, the writing is really good. So that's my audiobook book haul, and I hope you guys liked it. If you've read any of these books, please let me know if they're any good or what you thought of them. Uh, please check out Humble Bundle and consider supporting them and their charity efforts. They're a really great program. All right, make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, so I don't know if you... Uh, one, the one book, there's there's two books. Then there's Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. Vampires, Demons of the Ocean by Justin Somber. Somber. Vampires, Demons of the Ocean by Justin Vomper. Somber. Vampires, Demons of the Ocean by Justin Somber. I hope I said that right.